What's up guys, Connor King with Resolute Capital here. Thanks for joining us on today's Q&A and we're gonna have a, two questions on today's video. I hope that they are great topics that you thoroughly enjoy. And if you're excited about this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel where I post two videos every week. And also, this is just my opinion on these answers and this video is for entertainment purposes only. And you should always consult the professional financial advisor for making any decisions with your money. Okay, so first, should I approach business debt the same as personal debt? Great question. There are many different views on this and I will just share my view. Generally, I would be more on the side of treat your business debt like your personal debt, which would be try to have as little of it as possible if you're in a business that you can do that in, which would basically be uh, non-capital intensive videos. Uh, uh, <laughs> not videos, <laughs> not <laughs> capital intensive businesses. <laughs> and so, you know, basically some examples would be, and th th these are, these are these aren't small businesses, but these are some, these are some examples. If you want to start an airline business, there's no way you'd be able to do that without debt. There's just no way, because planes are multi millions of dollars, and so you'd you'd have to get debt if you wanted to do that, or you'd have to be a multi billionaire. Then then I don't know what you'd be doing if you start an airline. <laughs> you should just retire. The 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 other end uh, of this would be if you're a business that is more service oriented. Uh, that doesn't actually produce a product or have things that that require a lot of expenses, like a huge lawn care business. You could easily start that with no debt because that equipment isn't crazy expensive. You could easily um, just save up, you know, ten thousand dollars, get some lawn equipment, start cutting some lawns. Then once you make more money from that, get more lawn equipment and then cut more lawns, and that would easily cash flow yourself so that you'd never have to use debt unless you were just trying to grow crazy fast. And so my opinion is definitely err on the side of not growing crazy fast if it's gonna require a lot of leverage and debt, unless it's super calculated and that you've thought it out very well and you have a crazy good detailed business plan of how you're gonna pay all the debt off because it happens far too often in small businesses where you think I'm going to start a small business and you go and you get a small business loan and you think that it's just like free money and you just cross your fingers and hope your business is going to work. The, the odds are not in your favor at all if you do that. And so if you're going to get personal debt, only do it if it's capital intensive or you have an extremely detailed business plan of how it's going to be paid off. Also before debt, definitely seek out family and friends, angel investors that would just be willing to really get behind you as a person and help you out so that you don't have to go into debt, if at all possible. Second, let's assume that I own a small business. What should I be doing with extra cash? That's a juicy question. Some of my some of my initial thoughts, uh, that this would probably be, you know, everyone's gonna have a different opinion on this. My personal opinion and what we are doing as a company is Make sure that you have a substantial amount of retained earnings with any extra profits and cash you have. That way, you know, your business isn't just gonna fail and go under in a month's or two months notice, but you have a nice long time period to operate your business if something crazy happens. And so it's great to have this cushion. And so as soon as you start getting profitable, I would at least get to this point. Second, depending on your growth aspirations for your company, you would definitely want to strategically use as much profit as you can to grow the company. Whatever it takes to hire more people, get more equipment, uh, expand your network, that would that will ultimately pay off and help your company grow a lot faster. With whatever profits you have that, that you're adding to your company on top of your retained earnings for emergencies, then try and come up with any ways you, you, that you can to use them to go back into the company to help it grow quicker, to ultimately help your, help your profits go quick, grow quicker, and ultimately that helps everyone in the company make more money because the company has grown so much. You know, those are my initial thoughts on that, but I'm sure there's a lot of different ways to answer that question. Thanks for watching this video. I hope that you've learned something from my answers. And do know that these are just my opinions and I would love it if you leave your opinions below in the comments. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and a like if you haven't subscribed to our channel already where I post two videos every week. See you next time.